the GCC, the region, has never been considered a place where R&D happened. In the last five years with the TRC launching, we have proven that in the UAE we can really work on complex topics and we create the ideal test bed for autonomy and for the mobility of tomorrow. Today is all about pushing the boundaries of autonomy in a very complex environment like uh, racing, where all the conditions are put together to make it very difficult for a vehicle to be autonomous. Well, we really need to have the humans with different kind of capabilities collaborate together. One of the big jumping quality we have made since last year, the first uh, proof of concept we had in uh, 2024, is really to put together people that run cars on a daily basis in racing with software engineers that bring the AI component on it and make them speak together. Collaboration between academia and industry is fundamental because the industry brings the practical expertise on day-by-day -day activities that the academia does not always have. The academic bring the brilliance brings this element of research that help bridge complexities, help develop new ideas. Fundamental, I believe, E2RL is a fantastic test bed to show to the world what autonomy and AI are able to do today, build up the confidence that uh, you can put your uh, mother, your uncle, your sister in an autonomous vehicle and this is safe. The GCC, the region, has never been considered a place where R&D happened. In the last five years with the TRC launching, we have proven that in the UAE we can really work on complex topics and we create the ide ideal test bed for autonomy and for the mobility of tomorrow. Well, it's a very good question. Uh, 18 months ago, two years ago, we, we, we really see that as a test, a research exercise. Let's try to see what we can do. The more we work on it, the more we see that we can really bring value to the racing industry, to the racing sport, because we bring this piece of intelligence that enhances the capabilities of any driver and of any cars. Human against AI, it will be a very, very nice race. We were 10 seconds away from the human last year. This year we are a few seconds away. So I'm really curious to see how far we can push. And certainly having the six cars together on the track at the same time will be also a first ever.